uh, Bernie Thompson. <clears throat> it is, <clears throat> it's a hot time in Florida. <laughs> I've been sweating more than Mario Gisbert under oath. I mean, it is hot, and we all know why. <laughs> Yesterday, the FBI dropped subpoenas on the city of Panama City Beach, and the timing was uh, necessary as we had to finish something else. The subpoenas, you can imagine, make me feel at once a bit, uh, uh, validated in what I was asking, but also very, very frustrated, and I'll tell you why because the questions are about a contract that was awarded to the former city manager. Some of the questions are about the contract that was awarded to a former city manager, Mario Gisbert's girlfriend, the ZHA contract that led to the Fakakta study that I reported with you three years ago uh, that led to this building, this new city hall. I questioned that contract. I said there was a conflict of interest, and all of you knew there were. We said it was okay. And now the FBI wants to know more about that contract. This has become very serious. And I'm frustrated because most of you who were involved up here, you gaslighted me. You tried to say I was crazy. And now we know that that's not true. And there's a lot of other issues I've been asking about as well. Now, um, Paul Castro, you told me that you knew that that was a bad deal, that there were problems there. You know about that. Jeff McConnell, you brought me in here and showed me in detail why the $4,300 that was missing was okay. Do you remember that meeting when you had Amy Myers and Al Short? And Al Short said it was okay to have that contract opened in a sealed envelope in his office. Remember that? And he said that the scratched out handwriting by ZHA was a common practice. They often scratch out the numbers in a sealed envelope in a private room. That's common practice. And you know more about that contract than anybody here because you laid it out in detail. Now, here's the issue. There was an opportunity years ago for somebody to stand up and be a leader, but instead you said I was crazy. Well, the opportunity still is here for one of you to stand up. And I recommend before the FBI come and talk to you, why don't you stand up publicly? Nobody has done it yet in public office. And we can't ignore the elephant in the room anymore, and you can't gaslight me any longer. We need you to stand up and talk about this. And Mayor, you have been the most transparent, I must say. And uh, as you know, it was a big day yesterday, and, and I thank you for opening up the public comments. It was the right thing to do. We still have one issue. I just want to address it. I know the news media are asking you for copies of the questions of the subpoena. Uh, there was a public record request, Resolution 1461, that now charges two minutes per page. But here's what it really does. The last public record request I made about COVID-19, the city wanted $3,350 from me. They wanted $50 for 30 pages. Two minutes per page, Mayor, is $50 for 30 pages. Will you be charging that much to the news outlets to get the copies of those subpoenas and the answers that you deliver? I would like you to reconsider that as a matter of public interest. We deserve to see that, and we will see it eventually. Thank you, Mayor, for your transparency, and thank you. Thank you, sir. Anyone else?